When you get your soil test results this fall, the very first thing we want you to take a look at is soil pH. Over the next few weeks, we're going to talk about going through an entire soil test, but where it all starts is soil pH. This is the most important thing on the soil test because I don't care what you do with all the rest of your stuff. If your soil pH isn't right, nothing else is going to work as well as it should. No other fertilizer, no other weed control, nothing. You've got to try to get your soil pH right over a period of time. All right, so let's look at soil pH pH and look at the high and look at the low and what we need to do with that soil pH and then just think about whether it's high or low. If it's low, it's very acid and our little microbes in the soil don't work very well and nutrients get tied up. When it's very high, it's on the alkaline side. Well, it's the same thing. Our soil microbes don't work as well and nutrients aren't available. When we get that pH in the middle, all of our nutrients become more available for our crops. So magically, by solving that soil pH issue, we get more nutrients in our crop and we have better, healthier crops. We also have all those soil microbes that are breaking down residue, that are breaking down herbicides. So you don't have herbicides carryover. All those good things happen when we get that soil pH neutralized. At our Ag PhD soils clinics each winter, we like to show this slide from Midwest Labs that basically talks about how much percent of yield you can expect to get if your soil pH is low. So what this means, for example, is if I've got a soil pH of 5.7 and let's say the number says 73%, that means I can only achieve 73% of my yield potential at that 5.7 pH. So I've given up 27% of my yield before the year ever even starts. That's no fun. I don't like looking at that kind of chart. I want to get my soil pH right. Most crops like 6.3 to 6.8 for a pH, but there are certainly some crops that like just a little higher soil pH. With corn, soybeans, and wheat, we're talking 6.3 to 6.8. If we can have our soil pH in that range, that's pretty ideal. Now we have the best nutrient availability, we have the best environment for the soil microbes, we have the best environment to grow great crops. All right, let's talk about moving that soil pH. Let's take the easy one first. If you have a low soil pH, moving that up is relatively easy, but it's going to cost a little money and take a little bit of effort. So the way to solve a low soil pH is to add lime. That's it. We add lime, it helps bring that pH back up. There's a chemical reaction that happens in acid soil. Acid soil has too much hydrogen. When we put on lime, it's calcium carbonate. And the resulting equation or, or the result of that chemical reaction is the hydrogen combines with some of the oxygen to make water. Then the carbon combines with some of the oxygen to make carbon dioxide and then that leaves free calcium. All three of those things help feed our crop. So the calcium our crop needs, the carbon dioxide our crop needs, and of course water our crop is going to use as well. If your soil pH is high, it's usually the result of one of two things, either poor drainage or you've lost your topsoil. So with the poor drainage, get tile in the ground. Over time, you'll flush the salts out. You will lower your soil pH. We've done it on our own farm. In the event that you have lost topsoil, you've got to try to build new topsoil, and that doesn't come easy. But we suggest planting crops with lots of roots, like corn, using good nitrogen levels and good overall fertility and building your soil over time, you absolutely can do it. But you're going to need to reduce your tillage and you're probably going to try to want to get manure out there as much as you possibly can. I mean, don't overdo it, obviously, but use manure, use crops with lots of roots and reduce your tillage, even go no-till. Also, you might want to use cover crops to try to keep stuff growing out there all the time. Just don't forget that, hey, when I have lots of roots, roots produce organic acids. They will try to lower your soil pH for you. So the crops can do the job as long as you feed those crops well. The other thing about getting that soil pH right is sometimes it discourages weeds from growing in our field. Even if you have this weed growing in your field, we'll show you how to stop it coming up next.